how to do landscape estimates efficiently, and also make sure you can delegate them. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Godar, and my channel is about building your future through business investing and purpose. Before we get started, I want to make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications of new awesome content coming your way. So let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about how to do estimates efficiently, landscape estimates, that is, and also to make sure you can actually delegate those. So when you're running around like a a chicken with its head cut off and you're like, how can I do more estimates? I could never have anyone help me with what I've looked at. This is a way to have people help you look at and finish your estimates, pass back and forth and accomplish more, more efficiently. So if that interests you, comment below and say, heck yeah, I want to hear the rest of this and then let's get right into it. So step number one of this whole process, this is going to all be done with Google Drive. It's just our preferred way. We also use G Suite, so it's just a part of everything we use. But so with Google Drive, the step number one is take awesome pictures, video, take your notes, and then take a picture of all of those notes. You're gonna to wanna to document all of this. And today with, with cell phones, this is so easy, it's so quick. And a little pro tip is to get that Google app, that Google Drive app on your phone, and it'll make the rest of the steps even easier. So, so far that's pretty easy. Let's get into the rest of this. So I hit on step number two already, but that's taking a picture of your written notes. Just because you wrote notes down and, and you've got those and you're gonna put those in a customer file, you can't just share that customer file with anyone. You can't immediately show the notes to someone. So you're gonna, Take your normal notes you already would, and then you're gonna take a picture of that, you're gonna update that to a file. But you're also gonna do something special with these notes. You're gonna take a video note, either you walking around, or just you looking at the phone of what you actually want done. With the words right out of your head while they're fresh, while you're still at the estimate, because I know all of you, because I've done it, people that work for me have done it, everyone has done it. We look at a million things and you get back around to finally trying to finish an estimate that for some reason, you know, you're so backed up, it's taking you days to get to some of these. And you're looking at it and you're like, what was I going to do here? Hmm. I know they wanted that. You know, you have that you can't even remember it thing and it drives me insane. And I know you guys, I know everyone has the same problem because I just hear Melanie say it. I hear Zoe say it, that she'll go look at something and, and the smaller it is, the less it happens. But any size job where there's multiple things you're supposed to be looking for, it is so easy to do. Okay, now we're at step number three. I know that all of you are still riddled from pain from thinking of that last estimate where you're like, I can't remember what needs done. You presented the estimate to someone and then they're like, hey, it was supposed to include this, this, and this. And I, I mean, we talked about that. I know all of you have heard that. If you've heard it, leave a comment below. I've heard it. I should probably comment below as soon as this video is over. But it's just, it, it can be aggravating. And I've always wanted to work towards not having that happen. And it's still going to happen sometimes. But step number three is, now that you've taken your photos of the job and your videos of the job, you have also taken written notes and taken a picture of those written notes and made a digital note. So you caught everything that was on your mind during this whole estimate process. Now we're stepping into the organization and the part that makes this so easy to delegate. And that is arrange all of this on a Google Drive product. I mean, Technically, I'm sure you could do this with OneDrive, you could do this with Dropbox, but Google Drive is awesome because when you have a G Suite, it allows you to upload un unlimited info if you have a big enough G Suite. So if you've got five members or over, you can upload, there's no cap. So you're gonna organize this by, ours is we've got a customer folder, and then we've got the salespeople who are selling stuff. And then under each salesperson, we just put in a name. So when you're on a job, I can easily bring up OneDrive on my phone. I can get into the correct area. I can hit create new folder. 
Then I'll title that folder with the name of this new customer. I'll upload all photos, pictures that I just took. I'll upload a picture of my notes and a video of my verbal notes. That's really important because when you write down, if you're like me, one, you can't read your writing. Two, other people can't read your writing. Three, you just don't write everything down. You, you take bad notes. And that's where that audible, that verbal note takes care of that. So once you're done with all of those things, you put all of those into this folder. Now this folder serves so many awesome purposes. I can take a link of this folder and I can email it to someone to finish the estimate. Because if your company does estimates the same way all the time, a lot of people could finish this and now you can go out and look at even more. Two, it allows you to have everything in one place that is super easy to find. You're not hunting for a file folder. You're not hunting. I mean, we have a 10 feet of file folder shelving. Like there is that many files because we still keep files, but it's just hard to find. So you're not hunting for that. And the most awesome thing is when you go and you settle up on this job and you're ready to do it, you can pull up that folder, you can email a link or text or snap pictures on your phone and send those right to the guys so they know what's getting done, all while not forgetting what the customer originally said while you're on site. I hope this helps you so much. I know it was powerful for us. I know it changed the way we did estimates and I know it'll change the way you did estimates too. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Things like this, that if I could have known this when I first started, it would have been it would have been huge, you know, it would have changed business. So, you know, just so I'm giving that out. So hit that like button and make sure you hit subscribe and check out these two videos as soon as this is over. See you soon.